Hi everyone. In this video, let's talk about some different tips, techniques, and questions that you can ask to help you get out of your overwhelm when you start going into that place where everything around you feels too big to handle. I've been hearing quite a lot lately questions have been coming in to my private coaching practice and to my webinars that I've been doing where people are really feeling overwhelmed and they feel like things are just too much for them to handle. So that's really what this video is about, giving you some different things that you can do and different things that you can ask so that you can get yourself out of that sense of overwhelm so that you can feel empowered that you have some choices when you actually go into that state of overwhelm. One thing that I heard a while back that I didn't believe until recently was that we all have a choice whether we go into overwhelm or not. And, you know, of course, so many times in our life we actually, you know, start to function from a place of overwhelm and we think, I had no choice. I just immediately reverted into that place and where else would I have gone except for overwhelm? Well, now that you know that, you know, overwhelm is actually a choice, you can, you know, next time you're faced with a situation where you might go into overwhelm, look at it right before you go into overwhelm and say, if I wasn't choosing overwhelm, what would I be aware of? If I wasn't choosing overwhelm, what would I choose right now? Is overwhelm going to get me the greatest outcome? And I know that might sound so strange because you're probably so used to going into overwhelm and you think, oh, it's gotta be harder than that. It can't be that simple. But what if actually asking a question like that could change things for you completely and keep you out of overwhelm? So the couple things that I wanted to bring up for you are a couple different things that you can go through and see if they work for you. The first thing is laugh. Laugh even if, you know, things aren't really that funny. Laughter is going to release endorphins for you and help kind of break apart the pieces that feel really stuck and like they're not moving. And smile more. When you actually smile, those muscles that you're using are sending also happy energy into your body. That's not the technical term, but you know, smiling is going to create a change in your chemistry of your body. And so smiling often and smiling freely, you know, even when things seem strange and difficult and contractive, it's gonna really help things for you. I like to do these things that I think Someone out there probably also does this, but I feel like I may have coined this, mini meditations. Just sort of, you know, while you're waiting in line to get your coffee, or while you're waiting at the printer, while you're waiting, you know, to do anything, while you're sitting in a red light, well, maybe don't do this while you're while you're driving. Second thought, don't do it while you're driving. So do it, you know, in other places and other times when you feel like you can kind of check out for a moment and just sort of stare at something and allow your thoughts to drift away for a moment and then focus back in on what you're doing and rejoin the day. Because sometimes if we sort of just let our thoughts go away and focus on our breath for even just one minute, or even just three minutes. It helps us to refocus and to get aligned with how we would function if we weren't functioning from that frenetic energy of overwhelm. Another suggestion is to connect with the earth. The earth is very grounded and rooted and sturdy. So I like to imagine connecting from the base of my tailbone down to the center of earth and just allowing myself to feel really connected with earth and grounded in that sense of being really rooted allows me to feel like no matter how hard my tree is hit, I have roots so deep that it couldn't knock me over. So that's a really great visual to have as well. Another one is to lean into gratitude. So when you feel like you're feeling, you know, stress and overwhelm and anxiety, lean into gratitude and away from the stress, anxiety, and overwhelm and think of things that you are grateful for. And get more sleep. Sometimes more sleep allows you to handle everything in your life better. So see if you can catch a couple more Z's, maybe throw in a little siesta in the middle of the day and that might really help you as well. Also getting creative and really getting the creative juices flowing in your life can really help as well. So if you haven't really been as creative as you require, get out a paintbrush or get creative on the computer or get creative somewhere. Whatever it is that makes you feel like your creative juices are flowing, even just a little bit is really going to help you get out of that overwhelm, get out of maybe if you're feeling sad or stressed even. It'll really help change that chemistry in your body. 
a couple questions that you can ask to help you get out of overwhelm would be to ask body, what do you require of me right now? And what am I aware of that actually seems bigger than it really is? If I was being me right now, what would I be aware of at this moment? What is beyond overwhelm? So when when overwhelm seems like it's, you know, closing in and putting a blanket over you and, you know, cutting off all of the uh, possibilities for you and all of your choices, ask yourself, what's beyond the overwhelm? If I was able to look beyond overwhelm, what would I see as the possibilities and choices right in front of me? Because usually when you're feeling overwhelmed, it's totally cutting off your capacity to see what choices you have. And the last question I have for you is, is this overwhelm real? Or is this actually created to limit me? Whether you created it or someone else created it or whatever, that doesn't really matter. It's just ask yourself, is this overwhelm actually real or is it created to limit me? Or maybe it's something else, you know, is, is there actually something beneficial to being overwhelmed? And if you get a no, then look at that overwhelm and say, I'm leaning away from you and I'm leaning into gratitude. I'm leaning into happiness. I'm leaning into something else. So I'm not leaning into this overwhelm. So those are my quick suggestions and tips, questions, and a couple different things that you can do to get yourself out of overwhelm. I hope they helped you. Please keep in touch with me and please uh, do a comment below the video. I would so love to hear from you. And I hope that this really helps you to alleviate the overwhelm. Be persistent in your pursuit and keep trying out these suggestions and I know that you will see results. I look forward to staying connected with you and communicating with you in the future. Take care. Bye.